Merry Christmas, everyone. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Please forgive me. Please forgive me for what I'm about to do. I'm sorry, but I've got my hater glasses on right now because I have been sick and tired so sick and so tired of listening to Eagle fans since the end of last year. Now, as you can see, look, look, new shirt for my baby. Look, look, a new shirt for my baby. Cowboys, Eagles, 40, 34. Best Christmas ever. Ever to know that Eagle fans got a bad taste in their mouth. Bad taste in their mouth because they lost to the Cowboys. And you know what? This year is different because we got a victory on Thanksgiving, too, against the Giants. You know, I've had so many people troll me all offseason. Philly 500 telling me how they're going to sweep us and how he wanted Joe Boo's head. And we scared, you know, all these players that they got, you know, and we, we, we just, you know, you know, you know what it is with us. You know how it is with us. We, we ain't nobody. We just. We don't boys. Remember that. We don't boys. Remember we just them boys. We just them boys. And we were banged up and stuff. And the funny thing is, is how salty some of you Eagle fans are. And, of course, you're saying, well, we were beat up. Dudes, we've been beat up all season. We start lost, you know, because I see that people say, well, once Lane Johnson went out, Mr. Johnson, once Mr. Johnson went out, you know, then Micah Parsons finally got to eat. If Lane Johnson hadn't gotten hurt, you know, we would have won the game. If Jalen Hurts hadn't got hurt, Hurts hurting, we would have won the game. Well, here's the thing about football. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they can't play. The train keeps on rolling along. They don't forfeit games, as you guys found out last year when you beat the Commanders, because you don't have players. You know, one of those victories last year that you claimed when you beat the Washington COVIDs that had 22 players that missed because of the, the game because of COVID, and they got a practice squad player the week of the game off of New England's practice squad. Last I checked, you didn't put an asterisk by that game and say, well, you know, that one doesn't really count. That one doesn't really count. We'll, 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 we'll give you that one back because it doesn't. No, you didn't do that. Not at all. So I don't want to hear the poo-poo right there. But here is actually a real question, okay? And I know that this question won't be answered by the talking heads out there. I, we, we know that it's going to be, we, we know what we're going to get. We're going to get, well, Jalen Hurts would have been the difference maker. Jalen Hurts have been there, they would have won. Because, you know, the turnovers that uh, Gardner Minichu had, you know, Gardner Minichu had the same turnovers that, Jalen Hurts had against the Bears last week, right? Jalen Hurts had two interceptions, two bad interceptions. Just saying. J just saying. That's that's a fact. But I want to listen to my quarterback, and then I want to actually ask a real question here. And that is, are the Eagles – Overrated. Well, first off, let me ask you, because I worked the Jacksonville game last weekend and I was on your sideline, 20 seconds left. You got to tell me what you're thinking, what's going through your mind. Uh, yeah, this is a hard fought game. Our I knew they were going to make a play. Uh, obviously, they had some, some finger crossing, some hoping. Um, a lot of points in this game, but that's what you get when you get a NFC's uh, division rivalry game. Uh, 
great night. We talk a little bit about your defense more for takeaways. I know J. Ron Kerr is very upset this week, saying we we just have to stop talking and make a play. They did today. What did you think? Yeah, I mean, they gave us chance after chance. Uh, as you said, with those four turnovers, gave us short field position. We were able to capitalize on some. And uh, when they do that, we're a tough team to beat. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a great job by them, and uh, credit to them making that play at the end as and, well. And great job by you. And your head coach told me that going into the half after the pick six, the way you responded. You're shaking your head, Dak, but the way you responded. And he said, that's just the kind of guy he is. I mean, what was your mindset after that? Um, yeah, that, that's just kind of been my luck here recently. So uh, it was just about moving on. Uh, I know who I am. I know the type of player that I am. I know what I'm capable of. This team believes in me, and that's all I did is just keep my head down, keep playing, uh, focused in, and we're able to come out with this one. Third and 30 to T.Y. Hilton. <laughs> what? That's why you're going to get a guy like that. He can make plays. Excited to have him. You told us it's not about seeding. It's all about momentum for us at this point. What does this game mean to you guys? This was a huge game, not only uh, beating a team, one of the best teams in the league right now, uh, beating a division rival, uh, but the way we did it, just able to make some plays right there at the end, scoring a lot of points, defense making stops. Uh, we can use this and continue to build. Merry Christmas, bud. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Dak. All right. So I just want to roll through here real quick because I, I, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend, and I got to say hi to my daughter here, so we're going to keep this short and sweet. But as I go through this now, because last week the Eagles had a problem against the Bears. They, they squawked at, with, with, with Jalen Hurts, 24-20. But as I look at the schedule, I'm going to ask you, what is the quality win? What is the signature win that you say against that, that good team? Because they, they opened up the season with the Lions, Lions, which I, I played better, 38-35. Hmm. They held on to win that one. Now, you, you probably have to say beating the Minnesota Vikings 24-7 to is probably the biggest win that they had. You know, uh, the Vikings right now are the number two seed, so that that's the quality win. I, I, I'm going to put on the line and say that's the best win that they've had. You know, Minnesota has had... Had some kind of, you know, bad games there. And that was Kirk Cousins on Monday night, which he never wins. They beat the Commanders 24-8. That's what Carson Wentz, you know, emotional game. You want to beat Carson Wentz. Okay, is, is that the signature game? They held on against the Jaguars. The Jaguars had three turnovers. Now, see, here's where it's funny because they say, well, you know, the Cowboys, they only won because they got, you know, all those takeaways. Well, if you're going to say the Cowboys only won because they got all those takeaways, you got to point to the Jaguars had three interceptions in that game. So maybe you only won against the Jaguars because of the takeaways. Then there's the Cardinals game, and we got to look at the Cardinals and say they're not a good team. 2017, you got Cooper Rush, because we know you guys kill the Dallas Cowboys backup quarterbacks, 26 to 17, and you got three takeaways in that game. Three takeaways and a backup quarterback, and you only won 26 to 17? Really? Okay. Eagles versus the Steelers. Okay, you blew them out, but the Steelers, they suck. Texans. 29-17, close game. Texans play, actually play pretty good. They got a victory yesterday. But then you lose to the Commanders. The Commanders, left hand up. You were behind against the Colts for 59 minutes and only won by one point. Shootout against Green Bay. You destroyed the Titans, but the Titans are on a four-game lose streak right now. Everybody's beating the Titans right now. You got the Giants, division foil. That I guess that could be the signature win. The Giants, 48-22. You snuck out against the Bears, 25-20. And then you got beat by the Cowboys. So real question, Eagles. What is the signature win that you have for the season? What is this, you know, fear of God moment that you guys have put on somebody? I don't see it. I don't see it. Now, maybe I am just uh, just an idiot. You're an idiot.